Hey everyone, and welcome back to XO Medical Spa. My name is Connor, and I'm one of the lead providers here. So I wanna talk about more specific subjects. And one of the things that came up within the past couple of weeks is eyebrows. Um, commonly we do Botox and Dysport, and those are one of the things that people always tell us when they wanna get Botox or Dysport is, can you lift my eyebrows with it? So click a description. I think I did an XO Minute um, a couple months back in regards to can or can't you do a a brow lift with Botox or Dysport, but I wanna talk about why our brows are becoming down and then how we can try to elevate that brow back up. So when our lids become heavy, you can see it just gives us a very tired look. So it's not just about lifting for the sake of elevating a certain body part, but more importantly, how does it make us look aesthetically? And with those open eyes, the differences, it just makes us more youthful, more awake, more alive. Now you've heard me over and over talk about the aging process because once we understand why things occur, then we can talk about how do we fix it or how do we replace certain things. So with the aging process, a couple things happen. We lose bone, we lose fat, we lose collagen, we lose muscle. We lose a couple other things as well, but those are the major items that keep us youthful and then when we lose it, it causes the aging process. So first issue is bone. I'll pull up a picture right here, but as we age, our orbital bone begins to open, 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 open. So when we're younger, we have a smaller opening in this area, which supports everything around here from skin to bone, sorry, bone, fat, collagen, muscle attachment. We have a small orbital bone that makes us look youthful. When that orbital bone opens, now all you have left is skin and that skin no longer has attachment points. And that's when you see either in women, you get a temporal hollow here, or just in general, the eye opening gets bigger. So when the eye opening gets bigger, the skin that used to be held up here is now falling in to that opening. Again, I'll pull up another picture so you can see the differences between a 20, 40, and six year old um, facial structure. So that brow starts falling into that area and you can see when it falls into it, it gets lower and lower. Second piece is that temporal hollow. So when you hollow in the temporal region, again, see how my temples are flat here? Commonly it's not an issue for men, but women, when you hollow here, you'll see it. It looks like a skeleton. So again, no hollow, holds that eyebrow open. Hollow that area and that eyebrow again starts to curve into that hollow. Again, I'll pull up another picture you can see. So when that starts hollowing and pulling into that area, no amount of Botox, no amount of other things will lift that because Botox, remember, just affects the muscle. So that's the first piece of it, is that anatomical structure in these two areas, and when you begin to hollow, starts sagging into those areas. Now the other piece is collagen. So collagen is what keeps our skin nice, firm, and taut. So once we get up there in age 40, 50, 60, pinch your skin. Does it rebound right away, or when you pinch it, does it stay tented and hold that position? So again, lose collagen in this area, nice, firm, taut skin, that loose skin starts to sag again. It's just gravity. Gravity takes everything south. So that's when we get the heaviness in this area again. So you'll speak and see me talk about Botox in another area. So when you Botox this area, this is the only muscle that lifts your eyebrows. So when people commonly come in and they tell me, hey, can you Botox this area for a brow lift? Remember the exo minute that I did, physical impossibility. You cannot get a brow lift in this area by shooting Botox up here because if you paralyze the muscle that holds your eyebrows up, the only area your eyebrows can go is down. So what you can do is shoot a little Botox here in the corner to help elevate that area. But again, it will never give you this. That's not the intent of it. But when you lose all that collagen here, that structure that's nice, firm, and taut held up, again, starts descending. So now you have to fix the structural collagen piece. So that is another reason why your brows start settling and start getting heavy. And then the last piece I wanna address is, are we talking about the brows or are we talking about the lids? Because those are two different areas. Commonly people will say, hey, I have heaviness here, can you lift this area? But the brows look fine, but it's the lid. So if it's the lid, remember in any medical spa setting, you can't remove. Whether it's surgery, you're removing skin, you're removing fat, whatever the case is, surgery can remove excess of something. In a medical spa setting, all we can do is either hide or improve that area through other mechanisms. So when it comes to the lid area, you can do like radio frequency, you can do all therapy, things that will help elevate the lid. 
Now, if we're talking about the brows, if you want to bring the whole thing up, you have to think about, am I willing to do a brow lift via PDO threads, via whole therapy, via radio frequency to help elevate the lid itself? If you don't want to mess with the brows, it's very hard to lift the lid itself. So that's another thing that we have to talk about. So let's review. When we're talking about heavy brows, a lot of it has to do with the aging process. Loss of bone, fat, collagen, muscle. Orbital bone or orbital foramen gets bigger. Temple hollow gets more. So brows fall into that hollow. Brows curve into that hollow. Gotta fix the hollow. Second piece is collagen. Collagen is the glue that holds our skin together. Becomes lax, becomes loosey-goosey. Gravity takes over and it sinks. So gotta replace the collagen piece of it. And then lastly, when we're talking about heavy brows, are we talking about the brows themselves? Are we talking about the lid itself or a combination of the two? So that is a quick review on why our brows become to sag and get heavy. And then maybe in the future, we'll talk about how do we replace that. Remember, understand the why, we can understand how to fix it. So fix the hollow, fix the collagen. That's how we go about correcting heavy brows. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Stay safe, stay well. Happy New Year's to everyone and have a fantastic 2020-21. We'll see you guys for another episode of Excel Medical Spa on YouTube.